Hello and welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I have, I'm sorry about the quality of this bow, it's bad isn't it? I have a gift bag punch board video project for you. Um, and this one, um, I have used the bag, the, bo the, the board to create this lovely bag with a flap lid. Isn't that fantastic? I love that. So this is Elegant Eggplant and I've used some of our gold satin ribbon um, for that one. But today I thought I would go all in colour on you and use some of our Cucumber Crush. Isn't it beautiful? It almost matches my fingernails. I've got a kind of um, metallic Cucumber Crush going on today. So this is a piece of Cucumber Crush that measures, this is that measures um, 10 inches by eight and a quarter which is kind of yeah an a4 piece cut down to 10 inches and i've got my gift bag punch board here um i love this this punch board it is i think this one is almost as versatile as the envelope punch board i love my envelope punch board i haven't i've got to say i don't have the gift box one um for various reasons but this is the gift bag punch board that I thought I would um, invest in. It's not expensive um, and I do think it's a definite worthwhile investment. So we're going to make um, a bag as if we're going to make a small bag using the instructions on the board. So with the 10 inch side facing this section we're going to pop the tonage side in and line the edge up with that start line we're going to punch score our horizontal line As you can see I'm a lefty this is not the most easy this isn't the easiest thing to do in the world this in this orientation I tend to use a different orientation when I'm doing it for myself but I thought this would be easy to show you. And I'm going to score on the small line. Just to the edge of the board. It doesn't matter that it doesn't go all the way. I'm going to run this score line then up. Um, to. Can you see there's a little nubbiny thing. And this um, score line is going to match up with that nubbin. And we're going to punch again. And score the horizontal line. And we're going to score this side line next, so the side all the way up, and this triangle, and that side there. And that creates this portion here in the side of our bag. I don't know how well you can see that actually in Elegant Eggplant. It's probably a little bit dark, um, but you, it will all will be revealed. We're going to send this, this score line up. Oh, I've actually got it wedged. Hold on a second. Don't you love it when things go wrong on video? Live bloopers, folks. Let's try it this way around, because this is the way I usually use this board. So we're going to send this score line here up to that nubbin and punch and score on the S line and along the horizontal. And then we're going to send this line along, again, to that little nubbin, punch. And this time we're going to do with the side line, the horizontal line, and the triangle, and that one in the middle. I don't know how well you can see this, if my hand is getting in the way, I do apologise. So, punch there, if, you're going, if you send it along again so that the this line here meets that nubbin and do a final punch and then we're going to turn it all the way around and repeat the same thing again so if you take this score line and match it up with that nubbin we're going to punch and we're going to make the horizontal score line and that's all we're going to do and then send it along punch and do the horizontal all the way along to the next one, punch, and do the horizontal again, all the way along, till we meet, reach the end, 
and for the very last one we need to line up our start line again and punch isn't that fab i just love this i think this is brilliant so i'm going to get rid of these bits these are our little they look like something but i can't think what they look like i'll just get rid of those for a second and then on the other side of this board so you've got kind of a double punch here this side punches these cutouts but this side punches two holes so on your gift bag you've got a triangular section on one side but not on the other so what we're going to do is we're going to um We're going to fold these sections down because it makes it easier to do it this way. Um, we are going to cut some of these off. So we're going to fold them all down and we're going to insert them into our punch board. So, and it will happily punch through two layers of cardstock. It will, I promise. Use the your bone folder just to make sure they're really well creased because then they go in better. And we're going to insert them in to our reverse punch and the first one you're going to line the edge of it up with with the nubbin on this side can you see that i have no idea and punch and sorry because i've knocked you there i don't mean to make you dizzy you do need a bit of welly behind this one just because we've got two layers of cardstock so line the score line up with that mark again and punch I'm going to do this all the way along just to create our holes in our bag. Oh, punch. And the very last one just there. So then we have lots of little holes get rid of the punch board for a second we have this looks a bit like Kermit the Frog <laughs> so let's fold on all the rest of our score lines I'm going to leave the triangle ones for a second all the way like that and then if you fold it round you'll be able to see that this flap here on the very end is the back of our box that is the very back of our box this is going to be the front so we're going to chop off all of these ones here with these double holes in so just snip with your paper snips all the way along you may prefer to use a longer pair of scissors or even your um, stamping trimmer to get a perfectly straight line um, but for video purposes I'm going for speed today and then we're going to score on our triangular line so I'm just going to encourage it in with our fingers it doesn't need to be burnished um, particularly there we go so then we have that and we've got two like sort of mountain folds in the middle we're now going to pop some fast fuse along this strip here I'm going to make our bag up as suggested like so now then the trick with this bottom is trying to make it square so we're going to do the sides and the back and then that's the front last but it's quite wobbly so I tend I try and use my grid paper to make it square before I stick it so I'm going to pop a bit of fast fuse on the edge there square it up with my grid paper grid paper is so handy for so many different things and just push it down really gently turn it over and then use your bone folder to flatten down the inside hopefully it won't come undone 
the hem all you have to do is fold over and you can see that your holes then match up so I've got some of the cucumber crush dotted lace trim I'm just going to take one of our clothes pins or pegs if you're in the UK just to hold my bag just shut while I do this we're going to start at the front go through to the back just grab my ball tool for this makes it much easier and then from the back back through to the front like so and then just tr attempt to tie a bow we all know my I am bow challenged this is quite nice though it, it ties nicely uh, particularly when you have a peg for assistance and there we have it there we have it that is my Oh, I will tidy that bow up for the pictures. As soon as I turn the camera off, I'll be able to tie that bow beautifully. But uh, it's a bit of a mess, isn't it? So that is my gift bag oh, with flat lid using the gift bag punch board from Stampin' Up. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.